Hey everybody, it's Jay the Haitian Mobile here. I got another video for you. And if you, feel, if you saw my last video, which I actually just finished, if you saw that, it was about getting your Freedom Voice number, which is the 800 number for your business, MCA or other. And this video will basically will be showing you how you can make a professional voice over for whatever business you need, especially if you're trying to have a greeting on your phone for any kind of company and you don't want to use your own voice or you want to have something more professional or maybe another gender altogether then definitely you can definitely use audacity and the best thing about it is that it's a free software so then all you have to do is just download it on your computer i know a lot of you do not have um might not have a computer available so what i will do is i'll take the time to actually look for a mobile version for you all so that way you can use it as well um i found some apps on my phone for voice changing but they didn't work out very well so I went ahead and just stuck with the audacity I've been using it for a while I actually been using it um, on my interviews that I've had with my magazine when I would interview um, various TV celebrities or whatever and I would just and it would it work it would help a lot and I could you know, edit it come um, remove noise all that type of stuff so if you don't know anything about audacity you can definitely look at look at this video and check it out for yourself and let me know what you think so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and when you want to when you're ready to sign up which is actually not a sign up when you're ready to download it you will actually go to the link that I have at the bottom of the description which is gonna bring you to here she's gonna say audacityteam.org slash download okay now once you get here you of course you will click on whichever download that fits your operating system because I have a Windows so I went ahead and I, you can do Windows if you have a Mac you can do Mac now, once you do that, of course, it's going to give you the option to download it. Since I already have that downloaded, you go ahead and you can pause the video, download, install on your computer if you have one, and then go ahead and we'll move on to the next step. Once you are ready, you can unpause it and then go ahead and get ready to see the rest of the video. So, what will happen is, once you have done downloading it, now you're actually going to go straight to Audacity itself. Now this is the best part about using Audacity. Now I have had to play with it around a little bit to see what works best for me. And what I will do, I usually do if you have a microphone, which everybody, if you have a computer or cell phone you're using for your business, then you can you should all might have a microphone. Um, for the most part, of course, unless you have like a much older computer, then you won't have a microphone. So instead, um, what you want to do once you get up here. You can either import an audio if you want to, which will basically be over here. You can file and open, or you can just, cre just create it from scratch. Now, I went ahead and actually created my own script for my um, my MCA business, and you should do the same. So that way, you will actually practice it a few times before you actually can record it and then upload it for everybody to hear. So what I would say is once you're ready to do that, you come over, come over here, and then you hit record and then start recording. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a test so that you can see exactly how it goes and how you can edit it to your liking. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Test, test, test. This is a test for this video that I am doing for YouTube. My name is Jay the Haitian Mogul, and if you have any questions, so feel free to give me a call. Thank you. Have a great day. Stop. Okay, now that's that. Now what you want to do, now you're going to listen to it. Perfect, right? But now, what you think? The smart thing is the same thing that I'm thinking. Okay, now, although that I recorded the video or recorded the audio and I like the way that it sounds, I still am not content with it because why? It's too low. If you don't want people to be on your phone and try to like do this, try to see what you're saying, no, you want to make sure in this case they were going to amplify it. So, once you do here, you go ahead and actually go to effect. Anything that I most of the effects will be under effects, of course. You can, of course, use analyze for other things, but that'll be a depend after you have tried it out yourself. So, what I would do is I will go to effect and I will go to amplify. The beauty of this is you can actually preview it before you make it all the same way, uh, make it all edited. And if you edit it and you don't like it, you can always go back. So, there's no, there's no problem with that as undo button. So, now what we'll do, we'll end preview now. Test, test, test. This is a test for this video that I am doing for YouTube. I see it got better. Now let's hit OK. And you see my all the, the, the wavelengths that I have on here, they got bigger. Meaning that I just amplified my, my, my track. So now what I can do, I can do 
I can either start over here from the beginning. I can clear it up. I can edit this part right here. Select this so it can clean it up a little bit and go straight to here. Test, test, test. This is a test for this video that I am doing for YouTube. All right, and you see how that sounds so much better. So now, what you want to do, if you want to try to to change the pitch or the speed, the tempo, you want to reduce the noise. There's, like I guess, there's so much down here that you can do, and this is all for free. This is all for free. So what I would normally do, what I would do if you want to try to amplify it, you can do, of course, fade in and fade out. If you want to amplify it, or you can do it in reverse, which is pretty cool if you ask me. If you want to do like a Missy Elliott version for fun, okay? For fun, you don't want to do it for MCA. Um, what I would do is I'll change the pitch, okay? Then you can preview here. Test, test, test. This is a test for this video that I Now, you can make it even lower. Deeper, I mean. And then if I want to get higher, I can come all the way over here. Test, test, test. This is a test for this video that I am doing for YouTube. And then if you do that, of course, you can see how it sounds. Now, you can also change these up a little bit. That'll actually give you some variation. Test, test, test. This is a test for this video that I am doing for YouTube. See that? So you can definitely just mess around with everything and see what you think. Test, test, test. This. Just mess around with it. Test, test, test. This is a test for this video that I am doing for YouTube. Okay, that sounds more normal. So let's do this. Test, test, test. This is a test for this video that I am doing for YouTube. So as you can see, you got several different options that you can actually can use as far as what would help you. Test, test, test. This is a test for this video that I am doing for you. As far as what you want to do for your voice. So now, like I said, this would be like for recordings you want to use. So now that I already have this up here, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the beginning. And this is the new sound. Test, test, test. I say I want to slow it down. Maybe I think it's too fast. So now what I would do is I'll change the speed. Preview. Test, test, test. This is a test for this video that I am doing for you. So, we can definitely do that too. And then, of course, you're going to change it up for you, fix it up for you. Test, test, test. This is a test for this video that I am doing for you too. So, and then after that, you really want to make sure that you save it and export it. Now, remember that there are some options that you have to do when you are um, exporting. You can um, save it as a save your project. I'll say save it as a project first. So that way you can come back and make any edits you need to later. Then once you do that, then you can go ahead and hit export audio. For those of you that haven't used this for the very, who are using it for the very first time, there might be a plugin that you might need to add on here. Um, but you will get that from the Audacity site. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll also find it for you guys. So that way you can know which one to actually use in case that it asks you for it. So this way you won't have any problems when it comes to you. Um, to you exporting your files into mp3s okay and now if you have any questions or you have any issues with getting your with getting your audio to sound the way you want it to sound or with getting it to work for you just make sure that you just send me a message at the Haitian mobile at gmail.com you can shoot me a text at 678-809-8729 or you can just call me directly at 800-882-3038 extension 800 um and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out and to let you know exactly what it is that you can do to so you can get to your you know your professionalism going to help you with your business so you can get more sales. So on that note, I'm gonna leave you all and I'm gonna work on another video and then I'll get back to you guys then. And I if you haven't of course don't hesitate to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, all of that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys so much for watching.